What's up everyone, it's Migs back with another video and today it has finally arrived um, the mouse that I just bought and you probably know what it is already just from reading the title. The G-Wolves Hadiyas Plus 4K Wireless. This is my first G-Wolves product so I haven't had any G-Wolves product yet but I've heard a lot from them. And that looks like everything from the box. Okay. What's this? Oh, the extra extra skates. Oops, I'm sorry. Okay, let's open this up. What's this? Yo, these are glass. No, listen to it, listen to it. I don't know if you can hear it. You hear that? Is this is this supposed to be in the box as well? Or, or I mean it's not inside the box. It's like they slapped it behind, so. Maybe it's like a freebie. Thank you, G Wolves. I'll test it out. I'll, I'll test this out. Okay, now the mouse. From the reviews I seen from other people, it, they didn't kind. They didn't like show anything like that. They just showed this box and open it. Let's open this up. Holy. Okay, okay. I got the gray version, by the way, if I, if I haven't mentioned it already. One, um, two, three, and then I think there's more. Uh, four, here's the dots case. Here's a sticker that people put under their mouse. Um, here's the the pick. I think you use this to open up the to open the mouse, turn it, to turn it on and off. Here is some instructions. Yeah, that's, that seems like everything. Okay, let's get to the mouse. Um, so here's the cable adapter. It's smaller than I thought. Another pick. Okay. Okay. Ooh. Micro USB to a Type C. Ooh. We have the. What's this? What's this? This is a, like a braided and much, much more. This is a much, much more better cable compared to this. I can you can really see the difference as well and you can feel it if you want to use your mouse as a wired mouse this is what you put into it okay wow I didn't expect that okay we have the grips here they feel grippy yeah when you put when you add the pressure I'm not really a big fan of grips I don't really use grips on any of my mouse the grips here are definitely good though um so here is the mouse holy look at the inside it's kind of purple this is a 42 gram mouse and this is a 50 gram mouse. There is a bit of difference. It is barely noticeable. They're both pretty light, so I think 50 grams is a really good spot too. It's like not too it's not too heavy, it's not too light. It's just it's just perfect. It is kind of scary that I can touch the PCB or the like electronics inside. Let's test out the zippy switches I believe they're called. So here we go. Mhm. Mm oh, let me let me sh let me. Can you hear that? They are much much more snappier than I thought. I thought they're gonna be like a bit mushier, from what I've heard. But this is actually pretty good for me. I mean, yeah, there's a little bit of pre-travel. I think that's what it's called. Especially if you click in this spot. But if you click here, it's pretty instant. Okay, how about the mouse will? The middle mouse click. Okay, side buttons. Oh, that to be honest, that feels nice. Now the, the tense mouse is really good, but what I felt was missing, because I came from a G Pro X Super Light, uh, and it, it has a pretty good hump. And that I, it's kind of missing in here on the tens mouse. It's it felt it felt really flat. I, I I considered getting an infinity hump, but it's just they're not on stock, and then it's just kind of pricey, you know. So I saw this mouse with a hump. It's as expected. The hump is there. This is the oh my gosh. This this hump is amazing. So the skates. Some people say it's scratchy and i do agree they are quite scratchy 
I just applied the sticker. This will definitely help um, keep the PCB inside safe or the electronics or whatever. I also applied the glass gates. Um, but the the middle feet or the middle like for the sensor, it doesn't fit perfectly. Here we go. I'm not sure if the glass gate is supposed to do that. So yeah, I guess I'm gonna do a bit more research later. But okay, here we go. That that's fitted right there. Okay, that definitely lessened um the scratchiness. I'm gonna experiment more with this uh feet, the glass feet that came with the um mouse and i'm also my I might, I might also apply the tiger ice skates that i got um so i guess let's plug it in enough with the modifications and other stuff since yeah i think we've done enough um let me switch this on how do we do this okay and it is working let's go i don't know if you can see the screen here it is working uh, this this has a software and yeah, I want to enable the 4000 hertz. So let's go ahead. I'll get back to you guys when I've finished installing the software and everything else. Um, how does that look? Yeah. <laughs> okay, I'm sorry. I just, I just got this um, new camera yeah it's much much better now we can do much better reviews <laughs> okay back to the mouse topic over here so the unboxing you just saw was around three four days ago so yeah i've been really using this mouse i think i can finally give you guys a pretty good review about it i guess i haven't showed you the software yet huh it is pretty easy to install okay so over here you can change the polling rate. You can set it to 4,000, 2,000, 1,000, 500, 250, and 125. And then there's the debounce time here. I've set mine to the lowest. I think it kind of does delay a bit, so you don't double click, but I don't really notice any double clicks even if I'm the lowest. I guess A is the lowest, right? I, I wish they made this a number, so yeah. But yeah, lift off distance, high, angle snap disabled, motion sync enabled. This is to keep the um, 4000 hertz, um, I guess, consistent. And then over here, you can change it to whatever button you want, whatever button you want this to function. So that's pretty good. And then I was surprised because of this LED. I thought there was RGB. But then I tried turning it, I tried turning it on over here. And this is it. That thing under there. That's everything. So, I just turned it off, so, yeah, just, just to save battery as well. Um, and then, yeah, 800 DPI, you can set a lot of DPI until 20,000, okay, that's pretty high. And then, yeah, the battery, the battery life over here lasts around, um, for me, around two days of use. Yeah, it's not the most convenient, but it is what it is for 4,000 hertz. Yeah, I think that is... A fair price but yeah if I don't really game I just set it back to 1000 because like you know so I don't need to charge it more often but yeah whenever I start gaming I just set it back to 4000 which is pretty easy that is my settings and yeah it's pretty easy to install you just go to their website and yeah and that is the software um, by the way if you haven't noticed I actually changed um to the tiger ice skates that which is uh, which is originally for the razor viper mini um i just find them much more less scratchy that if that makes sense i found them less scratchy than the um glass skates and the other skates in the box but by no means the glass skates are really really good personally i just prefer the tiger ice ptfe feet so uh yeah that's that now with my experience with the 4000 hertz now this is really really surprising for me because i didn't expect it to be so noticeable like whenever i move my mouse or stop my mouse especially on desktop when i'm on 4000 hertz it just feels like more instant like the stopping of my cursor but like when i'm on 1000 hertz because you know i switch back when i don't really game to, to save battery it just feels like my crosshair like has a delay on it before it stops you know but yeah the more fps you have the more noticeable that 4000 hertz will definitely be and another thing that i think that 
really brought out that responsiveness of the 4000 hertz of this mouse is its weight because it's only 50 grams now i tried the razer viper 8k that is um 8000 hertz but it is 80 grams so it kind of gave me a hard time moving the mouse pretty fast which i also think made the uh, i guess responsiveness not us not as noticeable as this one because with this 50 gram mouse g wolves mouse um f plus 4000 hertz you know being able to move the fa the mouse pretty fast you'll definitely be able to notice that 4000 hertz much more i really really like the shape as well like the hump of it is really really noticeable you know the one of the main reasons why i bought this mouse is because of the hump right here and it just really makes your aim for me like it really helps me stabilize my aim much more so uh yeah definitely good shape here but yeah that will be it for this video i hope you guys enjoyed i hope i was able to serve and help you in this video in this review if you have any questions just comment that just comment down below in the comments like the video if you find it helpful uh subscribe for more if you want to see some valorant gameplays go ahead and check my latest videos they i use the new mouse with them yeah this um this mouse so yeah just go ahead and um watch them i also just want to clarify this video is not sponsored by g wolves or by anyone but you know companies if you want to sponsor me i'm open um just email me or something send me a free a free product i'll review them for you <laughs> but yeah that'll be it for this video thank you thank you so much I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out. Bye-bye. Bye-bye, bye-bye, bye-bye.